everyone, it's Miss Leslie. Welcome to Sculptured Painting. Today's project is called Tree Swing, Part 1. This is a two-part class, meaning there will be two videos to complete one project. To complete this project, you'll need the following supplies. One canvas, one roll of masking tape, one small stiff brush, and one sheet of white tissue paper. You will also need one bottle of Mod Podge, which we will find among your paints. Now the first step is to unroll some tape. And what we're going to do is make tape rolls so that the sticky side is on the outside. So I have this piece of tape here, the sticky side is facing down, and I'm just gonna kind of twist it and roll it, okay? So now I have a sticky piece of tape, and I'm gonna use this to construct the tree. So I'm gonna start down here toward the bottom of my canvas and just start to make my tree trunk by sticking that right there. Now we're gonna build our tree with lots and lots of layers of these tape rolls. So you're just gonna keep doing this, just pile them on there. We wanna first get the basic shape of the tree and the branch, which is gonna hold the swing. And then we'll go back and fill it in a little bit more. You can make your tree as skinny or as thick as you like. But if we're gonna put a swing on it, we need to make sure there's at least one branch that sticks out far enough for the swing to hang from. Okay, so this will be my swinging branch. And now I'm just gonna go in and add more and more tape. Now if you want to, you can rip off a bunch of pieces of tape and pre-roll them so that when you're ready to make the tree, you can just stick them on there. I'm just gonna shape a couple of branches. And it's okay to let your tape roll go off the edge of the canvas. And if you wanna wrap it around the top edge here, you can do that, okay? Now it's time to make the swing. If you don't want to add a swing to your tree, you sure don't have to, but I think it's a nice touch. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make this part of the tree, the swing, the wooden swing first, and then I'm gonna attach two strips of tape there to make the rope. So in order to make the seat, I'm taking a little tape roll and kind of flattening it out, and then I'm gonna fold it so it makes a nice little rectangle, okay? And I'm gonna put it about, about halfway up the tree, maybe a little bit less than halfway up the length of the tree. 
And I'm gonna repeat that with another little tape roll just to make the seat of our swing a little thicker. There we go. I'm gonna add one little more piece. All right, now we have the seat of our swing. Doesn't have to be perfect because most likely no one will actually be sitting on it. But you know something I don't know. Now we're gonna make the ropes here. You wanna make sure you get a piece of tape that's about this length. So what I did is just held my tape roll here and sort of measured about how long I needed that to be. Rip it off. And I'm gonna make a pretty skinny tape roll here. I want it to be skinnier than the branches, that's for sure. Make a nice little skinny roll. Doesn't have to be perfect. It can be lumpy and bumpy. And I'm gonna start by attaching it to the swing, push it down here, and then I'm gonna wrap it around this branch, just like a rope would be wrapped around a branch for a real tree swing. Sometimes it's hard if the tape is sticking to your fingers instead of to itself. There we go. Attach this here. Take it up. And wrap it right around that branch, okay? And I think I would like to make that seat a little bit bigger on my swing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then we can move on to the next step. I'm just making a little roll and folding it, flattening it. I'll stick it right on top of my existing seat. Okay. There we go. All right, step two. We are now gonna be using our tissue paper and our stiff brush. And what we're going to do is add tissue paper all over the sticky parts of this. So everywhere where there's sticky tape, we're gonna add tissue paper. So first, set this canvas aside. You're gonna take your tissue paper and you're gonna tear it into pieces. Now you'll probably only use about half a sheet of tissue paper, but you wanna rip it into pieces, not too big, not too small. All different shapes and sizes is fine. You wanna make sure there's enough to cover the tree and the swing and all the branches. And then if you want, you can add more tissue paper to the background to give that a texture as well. All right, there is our tissue paper. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to take one piece at a time and just stick it on top of the tape. And you can use your hands to mush it down and you can use your brush to sort of make sure it's sticking to all the little nooks and crannies that we created in our bark texture. So you're just gonna cover the whole tree and use your brush to poke it in there. Okay. Now that I have all of the sticky parts covered, I'm gonna go in with my hands and just press down to make sure that the tape is really sticking to the canvas. Just mush it down. Okay. And if you have little pieces of um, tape that come around the edge, you wanna make sure you put some tissue paper on those as well, like that. Okay. I think we're ready to go on to the next step. Now for this part, you're gonna need some more little pieces of tissue paper, which you should already have cut up or torn up. And here's where we're gonna use our Mod Podge. 
Now, you can do one of two things with this. You can use your palette that you have in your bag of paints and squeeze some out into the palette, or because this has a nice little hole in the lid, you can unscrew the cap, okay? Take out this little white thing, which keeps it from drying out, and then re-screw the cap on, and you've got a nice little hole here. And what you can actually do is just squeeze a small amount at a time onto your tissue paper. I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit. And now using the same brush that we were using to poke in the tissue paper, I'm just gonna spread this around. Now you wanna pay close attention to where you have a little tissue paper here that goes overlaps from your tree onto your canvas. Make sure you try to get some Mod Podge underneath there, and then you want to glue that tissue paper down to the canvas. So these little overlapping pieces of tissue paper are what helps keep this sculpture together when it's all dry, so it doesn't fall apart or so that the tape doesn't come unstuck. And you're just going to do everywhere you have tissue paper. Less is more with the Mod Podge. See, I say that and then I did a whole big chunk, so I'm gonna spread this around. Take some of it over here by the swing. Get underneath these pieces of tissue paper. It's very important that you get underneath the tissue paper and on top of it with the Mod Podge. So you wanna think about the layers we're working in. We've got a layer of tape. Now we're gonna have a layer of tissue paper and a layer of Mod Podge. And we're gonna add more tissue paper. Now that I have most of this covered in Mod Podge and I'm gonna now add some more little pieces of tissue paper around the edges to sort of seal it in. So this is already wet here with Mod Podge that I just put on. I'm just gonna add some more tissue paper and poke it down. And then just a tiny little bit more Mod Podge on top. Okay. So I'm gonna do this all the way around the tree with extra tissue paper overlapping what's already on here and also filling in some of these gaps here because I don't want them to look super flat while everything else is kind of bumpy. Now I'm going to just add some random little bits of tissue paper texture with the few pieces that I have left laying around. I'm just gonna spread out some Mod Podge, stick on some tissue paper. I might even wrinkle it a little bit with my fingers so that it's not flat. And this just gives some more interesting texture to your painting when it's done. Nothing is more boring than flat. As far as I'm concerned, in paintings, I like to see shapes, and I love it when I can feel the colors. <laughs> Miss Lacey, you're a little crazy. I'm gonna add a few more pieces. All right, so now that you have your whole canvas is covered in tape, tissue paper, and Mod Podge, I want you to look at it from all angles. 
and see if you can see any holes anywhere where the tape is not being held to the canvas. Like right here, I can see a little hole. There's a gap there. And that's not a huge deal, but I'm gonna fill it with another piece of tissue paper just because when it comes time to paint, that will be very difficult to fill with paint. So I wanna have it be a little bit smoother right there. I'm just gonna stick on that little piece. Add a tiny little bit of glue. There we go. Okay, so you wanna look at it from all angles. See if there's anything else that you're missing. Oh, look, I missed this top part. That's why we check. So I'm gonna add a little glue to that. I say glue sometimes, but it's Mod Podge. It's the same basic thing. Mod Podge is just a little stickier than glue. So it's good for crafts. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I got that. And that is it. So this is the end of video number one for Sculptured Painting Tree Swing. Our next video, after this dries, we're going to be painting it. So doing this at home, you wanna let this dry for at least three hours, okay? I like to wait until the next day so I know it's totally dry. If it's not totally dry and you start to paint it, what happens is the paint will rip up the tissue paper. So we need to make sure it's 100% dry. And that's about it. So we'll see you next time when we paint our tree swing. Thank you.